A temporary shelter where dozens of homeless people have been living since last month is closing today. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashway explains the help still available to them even after they leave. We're told about 35 people remain here at the temporary bridge shelter. I'm going to step out of the way and have photojournalist Leanne Walker show you what it is we are seeing right now. You can see several people are standing outside all morning long. We've seen people coming and going. Some folks leaving within the past half hour with bags of belongings. We've also seen social workers out here and JSO. According to one man here at this shelter who did not want to speak with us on camera, he said he has to be gone by at nine o'clock this morning. According to the CEO of Changing Homelessness, this number of 35 people is down from 187 individuals assisted here at this shelter. There is a story for every single individual that has gone through this, this shelter. Don Gilman is the CEO of Changing Homelessness, the lead agency on this effort. Everybody knew it was going to close. Gilman says every person has been armed with choices and options. There were about a dozen people that took advantage of the Homeward Bound program. Many of those have decided to go to City Rescue Mission. There's always someone that may decide not to go into shelter, may not decide to stay in housing. That again, that is their choice. The temporary bridge shelter operated like a hurricane shelter. There were always three meals a day. Um, it was always a safe environment. Gilman says Jacksonville shelters are operating at 70% or more. She says there are more available beds now than pre pandemic. The remaining folks will have the option to head on over to the urban rest stop that's located at Sewell's Backer. There they will have access to laundry, showers and mental health resources. Reporting in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lashway, Channel 4, the local station. And the couple who owns the space, by the way, where that